Well, I already went through this crap, right? We already ripped uh, pro football talk and any other idiot that thought Tom Brady would come to Miami, right? We already did that ass, right? I mean, that's just just uh, one of the dumbest stories out there, all right? And, and I told you on Friday it was a stupid-ass story. And then by Saturday, it was already squashed by the owner, Stephen Ross. Nice job by you, Stephen, right? That was the other thing. It was like, why would he come here? We're rebuilding. Why would you write that story? Oh, because you want to just write a whole bunch of crap, and then some of it will stick. It's kind of what they do on that website a lot. So, um, I mean, it was so obvious. And now the news story is that the Raiders and the Chargers may go after Tom Brady. Think about how ridiculous of a story that is. Okay? So you have worked for Bob Kraft your entire life. Now you're going to work for Mark Bullcut Davis or Dean Cheap-Ass Ridiculous Spanos? Come on, man. You're going to work for an organization in the Chargers that is run by an absolute clown that is hated? You're going to work for Al Davis and John Gruden? Come on, man. Can we get more ridiculous? I think Tom Brady would end up retiring than playing for those clowns. Look, I've told you this. And I've said it from the get-go. This is a power play from Tom Brady against Belichick, trying to make sure he gets what he wants in order to come back to the Patriots. And you saw the story already came out. I think it was Tom Curran over in Boston that he reported that they're at least willing, that the Patriots are willing to pay him 30-plus million a year. So that's the owner. And the owner's the one that's going to, the owner loves Tom Brady. The owner's the one that told Belichick, go trade Garoppolo. And they got rid of Garoppolo, and that was a power move by Brady. And they're going to deal with the power move now because this is the all-time great quarterback. He brought you six titles. Kraft is not going to crap on him. He can't pull. He can't allow Belichick to do what he's done to everybody else that when he's ready to get off the gravy train, he does it. And maybe Belichick is ready to get off of it because he wants to start a new gravy train if he finds it. But the idea that Tom Brady would leave the Patriots to go to the Raiders, wow, is that a joke. Why would he want to play for those clowns? They're not a good franchise. They're not on the brink of a Super Bowl with Tom Brady. Come on, man. And the Chargers have a nice team, but give me a break. It's a terrible franchise. They have no attendance. I get it. You signed Tom Brady. That should change. It'll pack the stadium and all that other stuff, and who knows? It just makes no sense whatsoever. After you've been associated with that franchise this long, and that they do things the right way, you're going to go to two franchises that are constant screw-ups. That, that, these are things to me that they get reported, and I don't understand where the hell it's coming from. Is it just somebody that pulls crap out of their ass? Hey, you know what? Tom Brady in Miami makes a lot of sense. It's in the division, and they have Brian Flores. That was their reasoning. It's in the division, and they have Brian Flores. Forget the fact that they don't have a football team. But, no, it's in the division, and they have Brian Flores. So Tom Brady's going to go to a team that has no talent. And in one offseason, they'll fix the line, the defense, the running game, everything. Hilarious. Hilarious. And and he's going to play for the Raiders. Come on, man. Now, it does make sense on the Raiders' side. That's where the, the, the story's very believable that the Raiders would go after him because John Gruden loves old players. He loves making his team old. So that I can see him going after a 42-year-old quarterback. But 
will the 42-year-old going to be 43 when next season starts? Will the 43-year-old quarterback want to play for this guy and that owner? No. 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 I just don't see that. So Giselle and the kids are supposed to pack up and move to Las Vegas. No, man. <laughs> I, I just don't see that. Uh, to me, again, that's another story. The Dolphin story, like, made no sense whatsoever. And thank you, Stephen Ross. But this one, come on. He'll go back to the Patriots. I'm telling you, if the Colts, to a lesser extent, but really the Bears and the Titans, if they want to be Super Bowl contenders, those are the two teams that should be going after Brady. Okay? Okay. That's what should be happening. That would make all the sense in the world. Get Brady, and the Titans are a Super Bowl contender. Get Brady, Bears are, well, Bears, get Brady and a couple of offensive linemen. Draft one, sign another, and then I think you're ready to go. But you'll have to invest some money on that line. That's the only thing the Bears actually need. That's it. I, I just I, I love when they come up with these these funky stories, man. NFL DFS playback TV says Colts should call Brady. Yeah. They need a little more, but that would definitely be one that would be the third place team out of, out of those three. I think the Bears and the Titans are closer than the Colts. But there's no doubt that the Colts are a pretty good one too. Well, no, but uh, you put Saints, too. Now, the Saints have Breeze. They're going to bring Breeze back, and they've got the plan with Taysom Hill. So they've got – they have their guy for now, and they view Taysom Hill as the future, actually. So that, that I don't think, is is a logical one for for Tom Brady. 